Now there is a pure, there are two rocks right there. Hey, Jeremy, I gotta put this in your bag before I get it. Okay. These have been described as the most expensive rocks in the world. Until NASA's Apollo moon missions, they'd laid on the lunar surface for millions of years, undisturbed by humans. Coming off of this rock here, but it looks like Kuwait. From 1969 to 1972, the Eagle has landed. there were six Apollo missions, which returned to Earth with samples. It was hoped they'd uncover secrets about the moon. They ended up teaching scientists a lot about the Earth, too. Nine containers of lunar samples were brought back to Earth. Scientists studying the rocks learned a great deal about the many impacts early in the moon's development. These created huge craters, some the size of large countries. Ancient volcanic eruptions then filled some of these basins with vast plains of lava, creating the dry seas that can be seen by humans on Earth billions of years later. But the moon rocks also revealed the biggest impact was the one that created the moon itself. Scientists found the moon rocks to be surprisingly, perhaps disappointingly, like those on Earth. It turns out that the Earth and the moon are chemically very similar indeed, as if twins. It was this revelation that led to a game-changing idea, the giant impact theory. The latest version of this theory involves the new idea of a synestia. In this theory, the impact fills nearby space with a donut of hot vapour. Both the moon and earth are formed from the magma rain that resulted. The gravitational pull, which binds the moon and earth to each other, became the main cause of the rise and fall of the earth's ocean tides. Scientists believe these tides could have been crucial for the evolution of animal life on Earth by offering a route from under the sea to above it. For almost 50 years, no human has returned to the moon. Now, missions are being planned to its unexplored territories. Just as the United States was the first nation to reach the moon in the 20th century, so too will be, we be the first nation to return astronauts to the moon in the 21st century. The hope of the next generation of scientists is that by studying new samples of rock, they can unlock many more of the moon's secrets, and even some of the Earth's. <laughs>